What's up? This is EasyOSX. Today I'm going to be talking about upgrading the RAM in your laptop. I'm going to be using a MacBook Pro mid-2009 13-inch model. You can apply this though to any other MacBook Pro model, MacBook Air, or regular MacBook, and the general basics to any other Windows or Linux PC. Random Access Memory is what RAM stands for. It's basically the multitasking power of your computer. In other words, the more RAM you have, the more your computer can handle at one time. And even if it's a singular task, whether it's light or heavy duty, such as your antivirus versus a video rendering, your computer can handle those processes more efficiently. So it's basically like it's getting more hands, almost. So first of all, make sure you know if you're going to upgrade, you have the RAM you need. On a Mac, all you have to do is go to the Apple symbol, click on it, and hit About This Mac. This will tell you the kind of RAM you are using and what you need. If you're on a Windows PC, you can generally hit My Computer, System Properties, and it'll tell you what kind of RAM you need. Or you can just right click on My Computer and hit Properties from the Start menu. Now, four things you're going to need for your RAM. A screwdriver, your computer, obviously, the new RAM, and a backup. Now, why do you need a backup? You need a backup just in case because this is a major change to your computer. Even though RAM is the most common hardware upgrade of any computer, it's still a hardware upgrade. You're going to want to have a good backup. First of all, you're going to want to unplug your computer and turn it off. That goes without saying, but for safety reasons, I have to say it. Next, you're going to want to de-static yourself. In other words, touch a metal pipe or something like that a couple times. Make sure you're not wearing any kind of clothes that are really staticky. And you don't want to be in a human environment either because both of those things can mess up the inside of the computer because you're going to be opening this up. Next, you're going to want to take your computer and unscrew it. Make sure you have the right size screwdriver because if you don't, you can strip the screws and then you can't get your computer open or you can't put it back together properly. So I have these screws here and I'm going to be undoing them. Make sure you get the right screws in the right place. You don't put them back in different slots. With the MacBook Pro, and in other MacBooks, if you can tell, some of them are a little bit smaller than other ones, and so you don't want to mix those up, especially those. So now that we have the computer open, let's take a look inside of it. As you can see, it looks pretty complicated, but if you stick to the plan, it's not actually all that complicated. So, as you can see, there's our hard drive, the battery, and it's not that big, CD drive, or disk drive, whatever you want to call it, Here's the motherboard, and that blue part right there is your RAM, and that is what we're going to be changing today. So to take out the old RAM, just pop open the hinges like that, the RAM should stick up, and you can gently lift it out and hold it on its sides. Now that one's the easy one. The second one, the one underneath, is going to be trouble. But to open it, it's just the same process. Now here, you can see the golden edges, and that's what you don't want to touch, because that's the connection, just in case you need to use this RAM ever again. So now that we've got that done, we can put in our new RAM, which you have to actually open first. But I'm showing it where I haven't opened it yet. So just give me a second and I will open it. Now we've got our new RAM open. And as you can see, it is a Kingston brand. That is personally one of my favorite. Now when you go to line it up, to point out, there's a little notch. See with the golden bars, there's a notch there. You want to line it up just as your old RAM was. If you try to jam it in the wrong way, your RAM could break. As we plug it in, I flip it around because I realized I was putting it in wrong. And you just snap it in. Make sure the clips uh, catch on. Then, just put in the other one, same way. And again, make sure it pops. Make sure the little things on the side are closed. Then when you're done, put your case back on. And very important, again, you actually put that on the right way. So I'm checking. And, of course, I have to flip it the other way thumbs up. Yay for me. And you just plug in your screws. Just like we did at the beginning. And again, to emphasize, put in the screws the same hole they came out of. It's very important that you do that. One final step, once you've got them all screwed in, make sure that the backing is on tight, make sure all the screws are all the way in, and just listen for any rattling noises. Then all you have to do is open your new laptop, or old laptop, and turn it on. Now, a couple final notes. First of all, listen for beeping noises. 
This can indicate that your RAM is not installed properly and the computer cannot find any. You're going to know what beats I'm talking about when you hear them. Next, check that the computer has acknowledged the new RAM you've installed. You can do this by going to the About This Mac feature as previously stated. Finally, watch out for any weird behavior your computer may exhibit or any other kind of quirks. An example may be a kernel panic. Example! If you experience none of this, then your RAM is properly installed. Thank you for watching my video. My blog is easyosx.wordpress.com and you can check out more there. Thank you.